Good day everybody, this is Nelka again and I start doing YouTube video tutorials again for you, those who wants to learn Dialux Evo software or Dialux and lighting design in general. Okay, I received one email from one of my friends in uh, Facebook or YouTube. Um, his name is Mr. Nel Magdaleno and he said, uh, Hi Nelka, good day. I'm one of the... I'm one of your YouTube subscriber. I'm one of your subscribers, blah, blah, blah. And I have a quick question. Why is the Isolines reading circle not elongated or oval in a way? This is a linear profile lighting one meter. The website spec sheet did not say the beam angle, but it seems it's like 90 to 120 degrees. And also, what would be the best way to use linear IES? And he showed us this... Um, value and fitting and iso lines and yes this is from lead flex all right so i think nel the reason why it's oblong or i mean it's not oblong is because this um photometric ies file or photometric file is only one led it's not even a linear profile or linear fitting yet Okay, I will open my Dialux Evo now. I think it's ready. Okay, this is ready now. So I have one example of a linear fitting here. This is from Thor. So I'll just go and place one fitting here. And let's go and see how it looks. Okay, let's put it up, up, up. And let's calculate it. So this is the one that you want to achieve. It's like elongated. Yes. So this is the one you want to achieve. And right now, what you get from this IES file is just a round. Because I think, like what I mentioned, it's only one LED. So if you want to make it a linear one, <clears throat> you can either make it as a linear, but I do not guarantee that it will become an ob oblong like this one because most of the time, the oblong or the uh, the effect of the lumi the the effect of the fitting sometimes uh, ba is based on the luminaire design. So the optic optic of the luminaire is sometimes dictated by the shape of the body and the shape of the shieldings and the optics inside. So for example, okay, to for you to understand that, I'm going to select one IES file from Tridonic. This is a Tridonic LED. And most of the Stridonic IS file or LED file is for one piece of LED only, like what I mentioned. So what I'm going to do is, let's say, I can just maybe drag and drop this one. Okay, let's try to drag and drop this one. Okay, I'll say yes. See, this one is only a small LED. Yeah, I can see it's here. Okay, let's just show it. Yeah. So this is a Tridonic LED. You, they, uh, the LED from Tridonic, you can use it for linear, for LED strip, or for any other um, luminaire. But it only shows one LED inside. And like what I mentioned, for example, this one, this linear fitting from uh, Torn, it has sometimes 12 pieces of LED inside. Depends on the uh, size because some or it depends sometimes on the length because sometimes uh, there is 1.2 meters, uh, 0.9 or 0.6 meters only. Like for example, this one, this is 1.2 meters long uh, linear LED or linear floodlight. So if you want to make uh, similar to that and you want to make it oblong, I think I'm lost. Uh, yeah, it depends on the optics. But for example, you want to make this one as linear right now. Can just go and create a for example a linear one like like this one for example and you want to arrange it linear like say 10 pieces of uh, point 0.1 yeah see you now look like it's a linear but even if it's a linear you cannot guarantee that you will create an oblong effect because like what i mentioned the effect of the luminaire sometimes depends on the body of the fitting so let's just go and try and just for you to see how it looks. Okay, let's just delete this one. Also, this is small one. And let's see what will be the effect of this uh, series of LEDs, but it's already in linear. Okay, so let's just discard, uh, this discard and then calculate again. Okay, 
So, see, this one is still again round. It's not even oblong because those series of LEDs or IS files or photometric files are still in a in a bare uh, lamp. It doesn't have body. That's why it's still round. But maybe if you create a body like a linear object here, maybe it will reduce the roundness and it becomes oblong. Okay, so that's how or that's why it become that's why your photometric is round. Okay, now so I hope you learned something today. And if you want to learn more about the lighting design tip and tricks, go and visit my YouTube channel and uh, Nelka Rocco Lighting Design or go and visit my website www.nrocolightingdesign.com or enroll in my Udemy courses. Maybe you want to learn the basics of lighting design or Dialux Evo. I'm going to upload lots of tutorials or courses here soon because I have time now. So just ch uh, check this one. Okay, so see you again on the next video for today. Bye!